We're back at Spark Pizza. Here, unique flavors, fresh ingredients, and a little love make some of the best pizzas in the state. Yeah, <laughs> we've been here a lot, actually. The combination of ingredients is always really good. Every pizza that we've had here is outstanding. So we uh, try to do as much local as possible. Co-owner Carolyn Scott and her husband focus on fresh ingredients and unique flavors. They want customers to really enjoy and savor every bite they take. Our pizzas are not overtopped. Because we're using such fresh ingredients, we want it to be that when you take a bite, you're, you're experiencing the pizza in different bites so that you're really tasting the different ingredients and its freshness. The dough is really good. The ingredients are really good. Everything is really good about it. And I just love all the fresh ingredients and I love the, I love the pizzas. If you're in Redmond, you, you really don't have to go far. In order to develop their delicious pizzas into what they are today, Carolyn and her husband did a lot of research with Chef Kyle. We took him to Napoli, Italy, and to New York. I mean, of course, ate at every Seattle pizzeria that there is as part of our research, and we ate a lot of pizza. A lot of pizza. Bringing all that stuff together helped us decide what our vision was for Spark. Just the laid back, low key atmosphere here. It's just some place you can come and just get a relax a little bit and get really good food. Do you love it? Is it yummy? Really, it's about being with your neighbors yeah. and coming together as a, as a community. Now it's time to make some pizza with Chef Kyle. We're gonna make the boss hog today. The so boss hog. The boss hog, yeah. Oh you yeah, have to little, say it like that. The, the boss, boss hog. hog. <laughs> I love it. I love it. I love it. So today we're using the, the Pure Country pork belly that we've okay. turned into a porchetta. So we ended up brining it. And then we put uh, garlic and rosemary and some chili flakes and we roll it up and we let it dry for a day and then we roast it. This smells amazing and looks amazing. It ties into even all the local ingredients that I'm using already from Walla Walla based flour to local cheese to a local oven built in Bellingham. So I'm really trying to create this, this product that is really entrenched in Washington That's State. Awesome. So does, it's, does this oven have a name? It does. It's, his name is Marvin the Martian. I love it. And Tony came in one day and he was like, that looks like Marvin the Martian. And we were, we were cracking up. We had it's a pizza Marvin. on the, yep, it's Marvin. So <laughs> it's, it's pretty fun. So, okay, well, so are you ready to yeah, do this? I'm ready. I'm okay. Ready, ready. We start with the base of the pizza, the crust. You want to try to stretch try, these out? Yeah. Okay. I always like to work from the top. So the initials, I'll push very gently. Mm -hmm. Then you'll flip it over and do the same thing. So just like this? Yep. Yep. Perfect. Okay. And then, so this is the slapping technique right here. Oh, so this is, this is probably one of the harder ones. We're going to okay. leave that part to you. Yeah. <laughs> it's not about what the pizza looks like, it's about how it tastes. How it tastes. And you know, if it comes from the heart, then it's gonna be great. Next, we add some garlic puree to the dough, some chili flakes, and of course, some mozzarella. I always strategically place my mozzarella. You got it, you got it. You gotta have it in almost in every <laughs> bite, right? So these are some of the local artichokes that I've braised and smoked, so I braised these ones oh, in. Okay. White wine, a little bit of uh, champagne vinegar, water, and uh, basil and garlic. Next, we add some porchetta from Pure Country Farms. And I got to tour Pure Country Park. I'm jealous. I'd love to go check out that farm. Perfect. That's so pretty. Oh, thank you. Then we sprinkle on some grana cheese to keep the dough from getting burn spots. So now we get to get these in Marvin the Martian. Exactly. You ready? Yeah. All right, let's do it. <laughs> Cooking the pizzas didn't take too long, only a few minutes. They look amazing and they oh. smell oh. so good. Well, thank you very much. Now I'd have to say your pizza turned out better than mine. What? I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm serious. Your oh, pizza's I'm not way... convinced that that no, one's yours and this no. one's mine. <laughs> we top off the pizzas with some baby kale, fresh basil pesto, and some corn flowers for color. Boss hog never Boss looked hog. so purdy. Exactly. So, so now we get to eat. Yeah, oh yeah. Let's give it a try. All right. You gonna join me? Oh, of course. Okay. I can't even say anything. <laughs> That's really, really good. I could eat the whole thing. Perfect. That's what we like to hear. <laughs> so good. Thank you so much. Thank you. To get the recipe for the Boss Hog Pizza, visit wagrone.com.